<laughs> Ghetto Boys GB 98 <laughs> We finna set this shit straight Believe that Don't you wish sometimes you could be free Free from incarceration Free from paying them bills Free to come and go when you feel <laughs> so many boys that right, exist in the world today When I'm deceased I want my uh, little baby girl This one been a long time coming man I was supposed to do this shit a long time ago Homeboy CV Well I told my homeboy CV Desi Hotel that I was going to talk about this A while back But I ain't never get around to it So I'm going to try to do it now First though, before I do this, man, let me just show y'all, man. Y'all see this? See this shit? All this shit over here? Hold on. You don't see that? I can't even see the camera. I mean, hold on. Yeah. Yeah, man, these grades and shit, man. I didn't have all this shit when I first got on YouTube, man. Y'all motherfuckers did this shit to me, man. I'm like Obama in this bitch. <laughs> Real talk, man. I'm Obama. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Back to uh, the topic. Freeform and twisting. That's what it was all about. My boy Desi Hotel, he did a video a while back talking about twisters and. I don't even remember what the name of the video was and or exactly what he was talking about now. It's been so long, but he basically was just talking about some of the shit that Twister say that y'all got a problem with freeformers implying or flat out saying straight up that it's better to twist I mean to be freeform than it is to twist or saying negative or derogatory things about twisting. Like y'all motherfuckers crazy. Like, you need to be real and keep it 100 with yourself, man. And I really just wanted to do this for people who are on the fence or might be debating about it or new to this shit. Like, you just got your hair twisted. Are you thinking about locking your hair, growing some locks, or freeforming? I saw a sister not too long ago subscribe to me who was debating on that, whether to freeform or twist. Well, I'm telling you, as a twisted motherfucker with experience, <laughs> free form your shit. Keep your hands out your goddamn head, man. I'm telling you, if you don't want to end up with your shit falling all out in the next three or four years, leave, stay out your shit. Let it do what it do. Like I told my boy Tess Till. Shout out to Tess Till. Oof. <laughs> I heard that old man bones popping. Stay out your goddamn head. Let your shit do what it do, man. Or else. And let me tell you, this ain't no 10 month update, nigga. I ain't new to this. It's 10 years. Really like 15 total, because I had cut my hair and grew it all over again. So my hair was longer when I cut it the first time than a lot of y'all's is now. So I done did, I know what I'm talking about, man. And like I said, I'm a semi free form twisted motherfucker. <laughs> So I can speak from all different uh, perspectives. Let me just show y'all some shit, man. Just look at that shit. This is what you got to look forward to. Keep twisting. See all these goddamn knots in my shit? These are knots that I done tied into my sh tied my shit up. Plenty of y'all got these knots and shit, too. You got knots or either you got... Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. I got so many. You don't have this problem when you freeform. You can keep up with your shit. You know how many you got. Know them by name. <laughs> Can't do that when you got hundreds of goddamn little locks that you done put in your head. I can't even find this shit. But here's a little example of something that I done twisted together. And this shit's still thin as hell. That's two locks. But that's what you're going to end up having to do. 
Don't stay out your shit. Here you go. Look at that. That's what you gotta do to try to save them. I don't have plenty of these. Some of them I done cut the extra one off to tie into some other shit that was about to fall off. Look at that. Hanging by a thread. It's not good, man. You want your shit to be strong. You want your shit to be healthy. The more you twist on it, the more you pull your shit out, pull the roots out, the weaker it gets. So, that's all I gotta tell you, man. That's my advice to you. Don't end up like me. Now, I'm, I feel like I'm trapped. I'm stuck twisting. Like, I, I, I don't even, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's my vanity or if I'm foolish or what, but I just, I feel like I'm gonna look crazy if I got an afro under all these little bitty ass locks. See, I think I fucked my shit up. But I still rarely touch this shit, though. Like, I went from being in my head every damn day, all day, I'm talking about constantly twisting my shit. That's why my shit is like this. That's why my shit ain't long as it's supposed to be, because they don't fell the fuck out. But I went from doing that, constantly twisting, to doing maybe once a couple, once a week, twice a week, to once a month, to now. <laughs> and I got to the point now where the Empress asking me, do I want to get my hair twisted? When I used to ask her, will she twist my hair? But I go for months, three months, six months. Like, <laughs> I don't give a fuck at all. No more. But I don't like my shit matted together. Like, I want to be able to comb my shit. Just because I'm at, I let it get to this point. You know what I'm saying? But if you got, if you if you ain't got to this point, if you a year, two, if you just getting started, or you debating, I'm telling you what I know. Leave that shit alone. Spend some time looking at some other freeformers, man. Get inspired. If you can look at these brothers and sisters with their beautiful crowns, and you think that shit is nasty or umps or Ugly in any kind of way, it's something fucking wrong with you. You sick, and you need to recognize that in yourself. Stop acting like it's just a preference. Oh yeah, some people just like they shit like this, and some people just like they shit like that. No, your shit would be like that if you left it the fuck alone. That's what would happen. And if you think it's something wrong with that shit, it's the equivalent of a pink person, a clear nigga, saying, "Ugh, look at her with her long." flowing blonde hair, straight hair. Because that's how they shit naturally grow. And if another one of them look at that and see something wrong with it, then that's a sick person. That's a mental illness. And that's the same thing with you. You need to admit to yourself that when you say you want your shit neat or you want your shit perfectly separated and you got them all of them in little rolls and you can see your scalp and you, you, what you're doing is trying to be non-threatening. You want to be motherfucking uh, presentable. All these little words we use. Presentable to who? Acceptable to who? You know what I'm saying? Non-threatening to who? That's the, guy, that, that's the I can still get a job look. I ain't going to scare no crackers away look. That church choir nigga shit. That Theo Huxtable shit. That's why I know. Because I was you. That's what I modeled myself after. I wanted my shit to look like Malcolm Jamal Warner shit. <laughs> and now when I look at that shit, I was looking at Wale. On motherfucking some interview recently. And that nigga shit just looked too fucking neat to me. I just didn't like that shit. That nigga looked, that shit looked feminine or something. It shit just didn't look right. And I'm not saying that women should twist their shit. Like, no, that's not what I'm trying to imply. I'm just saying that that shit just looked too fucking manicured. It looked fake. <laughs> Maybe that's what I mean when I say it. Like a feminine. <laughs> right there, I'm starting equating fake with feminine. That's, not, that's y'all's fault. But, yeah, that shit just didn't look right, man. I, I trained myself to like something different. I've trained myself to like what's natural. And until you do that, you're going to be, you you probably mentally ill. I'm telling you. I know it. I see it every day. 
I used to eat that shit up. Girls coming to me, ooh, I like your dress. Ooh, I like your hair. Your shit ain't like them other motherfuckers. They all thick and nasty. And, <laughs> and that's it's fucked up. Because now some of y'all are my closest associates on YouTube. Some of the people who are considered nasty and unkempt to the to other motherfuckers. And I ain't never look at it like that. I just ate it up like, uh, yeah, for real, girl, you like that? But fuck that. That's bullshit. I don't like that shit no more, man. That shit pissed me off when a bitch come up to me and say that. The fuck away from me. No good and well. You would never lock your hair. It's usually a bitch with a full fur hat and motherfucking clown face coming up to me saying some shit like that, too. The fuck do you like about my locks? And that's a problem. I walk up to you and you know good and well they would never wear their natural hair or be their natural self, period. But they like your shit. Then you shouldn't you shouldn't feel good about that. What the fuck? How can you relate to that person? I don't like it. That's bullshit to me. Not like now. I had to get to that realization. Am I all in trying to hear what I'm saying? One day, I promise you you will. <laughs> Wait till your shit start falling out. Maybe that's what it'll take. I'm not with that loctician shit. I'm not going to get none of my shit repaired or none of that shit. If I can't fix it myself, I'll let that shit fall out. That's what the fuck I get for not doing it right the first time. Do that shit right. The natural way. That's what's right. We don't have to debate about it. It's not a fucking matter of preference. It's a matter of health. Stop making things, a ma everything a matter of preference. Oh, you like vegetables and nigga, I like McDonald's. We just agree to disagree. You're stupid as fuck. It's not the same. Want your hair to be healthy, leave this shit alone. I'm telling you what I know. Locking your hair is supposed to free you. Supposed to help you have less shit to worry about. That's less maintenance. If you end up locking your hair and now you just got a whole uh, bathroom full of new lock products. You just threw out all your other shit and ripped it with lock shit. And now instead of spending an hour in the salon getting the perm or a weave, you spend an hour in the salon getting your locks twisted or repaired. You're still wasting time. You're still taking away from focusing on your true self. It's a lot of shit you could do in an hour, two hours, three, four, depending on how many, how long your hair is and how much work you need done to it. You can spend more time getting your locks done than you used to do before you had natural hair. <sighs> Y'all missed the point of this shit. This shit is about freedom. It's not a style, not a look. So... Take it from me if you want to. I don't care how y'all take it. That's what I'm saying. Talk that shit. Come to me with that same shit you took over there to my homeboy at Desi Hotel. I'm not new to this shit. I've been twisted. Sick, twisted motherfuckers. I didn't even know they had all these terms. I didn't know there was a such thing as free form. And all this shit, like, before I even got on YouTube, like, <laughs> that's just the way just grew their hair. Like, we didn't have names and terms for everything. And I'm not, I'm not with none of these happily natural super lock, super friend motherfuckers either. I'm not with that type of shit. I'm not with none of that shit, man. Like, celebrating <laughs> natural hair. We go too far with all that shit. You'll never see crackers celebrating their natural hair. That's just not something to celebrate. That's just how you are. That's just show how sick we are that we feel like we need to make a big deal out of just looking how the fuck you supposed to look. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. But Yeah, man. Give your shit time to heal. It's showing you what it wanna do every time you twist it. You gotta keep that shit wrapped up and pent up and pull it back and all that because in a couple of days a week or two the natural power and strength of your shit come back and you act like you mad at it 
you upset. Like, God damn, shit keep growing. Shit, you, I gotta keep doing. Like, that's the power. That's the strength of something for you to be proud of. Not something for you to hurry up and fix. It's not a problem. <laughs> There's nothing wrong. So, that's basically all I had to say about that, man. As far as products, I know people have been asking me about products, what I use. I keep it very minimal. I don't put shit in my head every day. I like to put a little aloe vera gel in it. Every once in a while, I do the herbal rinses. Or I'll, if I really want a deep cleansing wash, then I, I get the black soap out. But usually a good herbal rinse, some aloe vera, coconut oil, stuff like that. I don't use a lot of shit. I don't have no products to recommend to you. I make a herbal hair butter, butter but people want to um, stimulate hair growth. Might have some dandruff issues and. It's just all around good for maintaining and nourishing your hair and scalp. So if you're interested in that, hit me up. But uh, other than that, man, just keep it simple. I'm going to be going out buying a whole bunch of shit with a whole bunch of ingredients in it. Because, yes, you will have buildup later. It's another thing y'all don't, they don't tell you about. Having all this white shit. And I'm pretty much clean most of mine out now, but... Yeah, I really don't have one to show you, but that shit ain't going nowhere. That's what I'm telling you. You put that shit in your head now, you got to let that shit sit for three to six months. It's going to be there for the rest of your journey. So if you don't want that shit all built up, man, white, nasty, crusty shit all in your head, that's why motherfuckers think locks are nasty. We're not doing them right. They don't require any products at all to grow your hair, to start your hair, to do none of that. The only time they require products and maintenance and, an and another person to do it for you is when you're going for that Malcolm Jamal water. May I serve you massa look? <laughs> I ain't no problem, boss. Look at me. You're trying to get that shit as close as you can to a white person shit. Let's be for real. Thinner and now you can wave it and fluids and all that bullshit. Now what a lot of y'all sisters is looking for, I already know. Don't you know, you ain't gotta be honest with me, but don't lie to yourself. As far as y'all brothers, it's the same thing. You might not be going for the long look, but you're going for it what you think is neat and presentable and what you done seen some other nigga wearing who you think girls like. Unless you on some Lil Wayne shit. Which is, oh, great point to make before I go. <laughs> Why I don't get caught up in all that freeform shit and how y'all are so much more enlightened and so much more in tune. Nah, fuck that. Because Lil Wayne is a perfect example. That freeform does not it's not synonymous with consciousness or enlightenment or being in tune with nature or none of that. So you got to be very careful not to get caught up in how shit. I know a lot of people that have twisted hair that are doing great things in the community. You know, highly conscious, if you want to use that word. Highly enlightened. Just like I know some freeform motherfuckers who ain't about shit. And vice versa. So, you know, don't get caught up in appearance. Three stacks told you that. So that's about it, man. I think I said all I need to say. Stay out your shit. Keep it simple. Stop trying to be non-threatening and conform to whatever look is acceptable by your master today. Fuck them. Make them conform to you. That's what you do. You be you, and they ain't gonna have no choice but to accept it. This this I will leave y'all with for real, and I'm gone. I was in the shop. I was in a restaurant that just happened to be next door to a natural hair salon. And the sisters came into the restaurant and started talking about a client she had. Her client was a sister who wanted to wear her hair natural, 
But not only did her husband not support her, he wanted her to wear a perm, which, you know, I ain't even going to talk about that nigga right now. But that's pathetic. But not only did she have to deal with him, she had to deal with her job. Telling her that that was not professional. I just want y'all to sit and think about that for a minute. Your natural hair is not professional. It's crazy. And the sister who did the hair, you know, she was conscious sister and had enough sense to tell the lady that that's crazy. Would they ever tell a European that? Can you imagine? A cracker being told a natural hair is not professional. I mean, come on, man. Imagine you run a business and a cracker come to you for a job and you tell him, oh, no, nah, you're going to have to look like one of us. <laughs> you're going to have to get your, your hair too straight. That's what they're telling you. Your hair too nappy. You look too much like a nigga. You look too much like an African. You look too black. Whatever fucking term you like, that's what they telling you. And you just accept it. Y'all just walk away like, oh, let me go fix it then, boss. That's sick. So I get it. That's what I'm saying. For a fact that that's what you're trying to do, you compromising. you saying, okay, well, my boss, he'll allow that. They'll, they okay, they're okay with that. They'll accept this. It's not too out there. It's not too African. I don't look too much like myself. I'm like our, my ancestors looked. So just keep it in mind, man. Every, that's what, this is where we at with it. And anytime you accept that, you saying your ancestors are ugly and unkempt and dirty, knowing good and goddamn well who the nasty, dirty, unkempt people are. And then when you let the nastiest, dirtiest, filthiest beast on the planet sit back and critique you on your appearance and tell you how you should look and what's professional and what's acceptable. Fuck them. As soon as we started loving us and accepting us for who and what we are and everybody else, we ain't gonna have no choice but to fall in line. They're gonna do the same thing. The way you see yourself is the way others will see you. That's it. It's all love. Be healthy. Damn, Peace. I gotta be free. I'm Oh, 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 oh,